we thought to ourselves, with this platform that's so powerful of processing so much data to, to, to drive insights, what's a lot of data? Like we keep saying like this insights database is really, really fast, but when you throw billions and trillions around, you know, it's hard to really grok what this means. So I thought to myself, well, what if we started throwing tweets at insights? And, uh, and so we tried a little hack on uh, a hack night last summer where we managed to get a, 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 a sample of the, the Twitter event feed. They've got this API where you can get a sample of the event feed and put it in insights. And it was so cool, we could sort of see some stuff on Twitter and insights. Then I thought to myself, well, we, we're, we happen to know a lot of good friends at Twitter. They're a great company, and we know a lot of people in common there. So I thought, can we pretty, pretty please have access to all the tweets? All the tweets. And so I asked them, and they said, well, sure, we can get you. We can get you, you know, a 10% sample. That, that should be, you know, I wouldn't want to give you more than that because, you know, wouldn't you have to build a whole new data center? It's like, no, 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 you, it's okay. Send us all the tweets. And so after a bunch of back and forth, um, you know, we, the, the key thing to recognize is you don't need all the tweets to really drive meaningful in, insights for your business. You just need the subset that's interesting to you. So this was the interesting part of the conversation. You're like, well, we'll send you all the new Relic tweets. And that's great, but as many as there are today, that's not going to show off the processing power of insights, you know, 5,000 tweets. So, so um, but if we did want to do this for our own business, the GNIP API is a great API for getting just the right tweets you need to do your analytics. But we wanted to show, we wanted to be like show off processing power and all that stuff. So bare metal and all that stuff. So, so we got temporary access to the entirety of all tweets going on. Would you like to see a demo of Insights making mincemeat of all the Twitter event in the world? OK, here we go. So um, we won't have this much for much longer. So you're lucky to be in the room and see this, and then it's going away shortly. But here's a real-time view of all the tweets going into Insights. The one thing to mention about this is when they did turn on um, the full 100% and it went into Insights, nobody noticed on the Insights database team. Nobody noticed. I was like, it was less than a blip. It turns out this is less than 1% of the total traffic we process. So if you're concerned about the Insights data application platform um, handling the scale, we're pretty confident that we can. Uh, we certainly are doing fine with Twitter scale. And let's just show, this isn't just counting tweets. Let's run some queries. Let's, let's, this is an app, right? Imagine I wanted to build an analytics app for Twitter. Well, this took me all of 15 minutes to build. Um, I just wrote queries, built dashboards. and So I want to build an app that filters on uh, keywords. So I just want to type, how, let's do a free text search and see real time how many people are tweeting about our president. So that's um, 937 people have been tweeting about our president. And uh, that's up 23% since time, the same time as yesterday. Here are the top hashtags for those tweets. And then what's going on? What, show me the actual tweets. Every single one of them is coming into Insights right now. And of course, the throughput. So that's 930 or so people tweeting about our president. And this is going to make your day. You won't believe this. As I mentioned, I'm a Justin Bieber fan. But let's see how many people are tweeting about Bieber right now. Oh my lord, 2,000 people. We've got twice as many people tweeting about Justin Bieber than President Obama. So there's something you learned today. You know this was going to be an educational experience, didn't you? So now you know just how, um, how popular um, this silly Canadian is. I can't believe we come from the same country. Um, anyway. Let's look at the top. Let's look at the top. Um, let's look at the top hashtags for tweets that have Bieber somewhere in it. And this is an app, so I can just click around and drill into it. By the way, this is all mobile friendly too, right? So if you build an app on the New Relic data platform, it goes straight to the mobile device. So you don't have to think about what do I do about mobile. This is just the data you need where you want it. So let's look in. It turns out here's the bizarre thing. This is the most bizarre thing of all I've learned in my quest for understanding the, the, the zeitgeist of Justin Bieber. There's a disproportionate number of people who are excited about Bieber in Brazil. Who knew that a Canadian living in the US is most popular in Brazil of all places? So anyway, part of your education as you learn at FutureStack, a little did you know fact. But 
you know, I can go on and on. Oh, let me do a little bit of segmentation just so, like, you know, we're going to blast through all the tweets and segment by language and see what they're going on. And I can do my magic filter again and say, well, I'm looking at what's going on for um, uh, Twitter for iPhone tweets. And we'll read, you know, it's all this powerful app where you can slice and dice the tweets. We can slice and dice your data quite handily as well. But why don't we do something fun? This is audience participation time. I'd like everybody to grab your phone, reach for your Twitter client. And we have a goal. We want to get this over 1,000. Do you think we can do that? Do you think we can do that in real time? If you tweet, it'll come right over here. So what you need to tweet is hashtag FS14 or New Relic. Get the tweets up there. And let's see if we can do it in real time. Let's see who's got a Dana Relic just tweeted one, Foliosis, Eshog. Love the duck family. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is moving fast. How can we, how, all right, let's get there to 135. I feel like an auction caller. This is pretty wild. How fast are we going? You know what I'm going to do to motivate people to tweet? Could we get a GoPro here? You know what, Patrick, throw me a GoPro. All right, who wants a GoPro? You got to tweet. You got to tweet. Uh, Josh Holit, are you in the room? Josh? Yeah, you got a GoPro. Who wants another GoPro? Who wants another GoPro? Man, I should have set the threshold lower. I was wondering. This was the only open question about the thing, is how long does it take to get to 1,000? Come on, there's 1,000 people in this room. We can do it. We can do it. It's going to feel so good when we get to 1,000. All right. And you can look at the spike. By the way, a lot of you are tweeting on iPhone, good Android presence, a little bit of web client, 359. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change the threshold to 500. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to offer one more GoPro. First, as soon as we get after 500, the first one I see that's not a recognizable New Relic employee, <laughs> we're going to give a GoPro to. All right, we're 426, 433. 441, it's getting there. Come on, folks, you want that GoPro, don't you? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Four, oh, one more. All right, D5. Who's D E D F E I G? Who's handle? Right over there, you get a GoPro. All right. OK, we're going to hit the 1,000, but I don't want to spend all the time waiting for the 1,000. Oh, look, ooh, just big spike. Pretty cool stuff. OK, let's, we can go back uh, from the demo. I want to thank our friends at Twitter for giving access to that. Um, that's super powerful stuff. And uh, it just kind of shows off. Just now it opens up your imagination. With the power of uh, our newly acquired Ducks board team, putting all that data into insights, power combined with all the stuff in your software. Remember, your customers are interacting with you through software. New Relic sees those interactions. Putting it all up together in insights is going to be helpful you transform your business.